Hello everybody, it's me, JTJ. I'm coming back to you with another King of the Hill review. And today I am reviewing uh, King of the Hill episode six. I'll be doing episode five in October. So keep an eye out for that. But for right now, I am doing King of the Hill uh, Jumpin' Crack Bass. <laughs> I kid you not, that's actually the name of the episode. It's a pretty fun one. I'm not gonna lie. I, I get a kick out of it every time I see it. Every time I watch this episode, I mouth what those fish are saying when you see them in the water. Like, uh, I, I, I can't shut up about it. Also, I am technically using the office scene from my movie, but to be fair, it was originally where I did my videos to begin with, and I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably keep doing my videos in here in the future, and I'll probably keep the stripes in the cool Symphony of Chickens posters, and my uncle's plaque. Well, it's a fake plaque I made of him, but We'll, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to get into who di who directed this episode, first of all. Gary McCarver. I think that's how you pronounce it. McCarver. Uh, also, supervising director is, as usual, Leslie Archer. And this episode was written by Alan R. Cohen and... Alan Freeland, and this episode was story edited by the late, great Johnny Hartwick. And as usual, the show was created by Greg Daniels and Mike Judge. And I would like to talk about the guest stars now. Dan Butler, who you may know as uh, Bulldog from Frazier and that gay teacher from Hey Arnold. Yes, he's gay. We all know he's gay. I'm not insulting him. I'm not making fun of him. I'm just stating a fact that teacher is technically gay. Just putting it out there. It's just a fact. Also, it guest stars James Carville, who plays the judge in this episode. I thought that was worth pointing out. I don't know how big of a name he is, but I looked it up. He's pretty big, sort of, in some ways, worth mentioning. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let me get into this episode. So Hank, uh, he basically, it starts off with him, you know, he's digging up worms with his son because, well, it all starts with a hand-dug American worm. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's one of my favorite lines. I find it funny every time I hear it. <laughs> and basically we uh, we get someone trying to steal Hank's truck, which is always funny. Hank acts like a cop. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Hank Hill is uh, a pretty, Pretty funny character in the entire show. Not the funniest. There's, there's others that deserve that title. But to me, if I met a guy that was like Hank Hill, and I would assume he's a cop off duty. So it's kind of funny that he made a citizen's arrest in this episode. Because he looked like an actual cop for a minute. <laughs> but when I say he looks like a cop off duty, I picture him being like the guy that answers the phone for 911 not a real cop you know just saying um so then Hank hears about this guy named Jack who <laughs> sorry sorry I shouldn't laugh he hears about this guy named Jack and um apparently he makes pretty good uh, bait for catching fish, so Hank gets the wrong guy, and instead of meeting Jack, he buys crack. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. 
episode. That one was too good. Uh, and then we see Hank catching all these fish, and then you see at one point a fish is just looking at Hank. And I'm just thinking to myself, this fish is saying, God, that stuff is makes me feel alive. I want more. And he literally attacks Bill for another taste. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, every time you see those fish getting addicted to crack, you just can't stop yourself. You know? It's just, I know it's not a laughing issue. A drug addiction. I recently got done with an addiction. Not a real addiction. It's just a joking addiction. Nothing serious. But anyway, uh, then we get to the part where Hank gets caught trying to buy a uh, crack. <laughs> and we see the character who Dan Butler voices. Interesting cameo. He uh, plays a judge. No, sorry. He plays a lawyer who looks like he does crack. I kid you not. This lawyer looks like somebody that smokes crack. Yeah. If I was to go down to a certain part of where I live, I would probably see 12 guys that looks like that dude right there. Just saying. But, well, now I'm going to get into my rating for the episode, which is always a fun part. And I rate this episode, I rate this episode a 7.5. It was fun. It was hard not to laugh at. It was just such a fun episode, you know? One of those things you can't just skip over. Not that I'm skipping over the one before it, which tune in for in October. But yeah, I had fun with this episode. And by the way, I'm glad I'm doing another review. It's been a while. I miss doing it. Uh, you've probably seen my updates about my movie I'm working on. I'm only talking about it now because it's been a while since you've seen me do a review. And also, before I end this review, I want you guys to check out my other channel where I talk about stories from my life. Right now, there's only one video up on there at the moment. It's called The Sprouts Odyssey. I feel you two would, I feel you guys would enjoy watching it. If you love hearing my stories, which I don't have many on this channel, I wanted to make a separate channel for my stories. So check it out if you want. And until next time, stay tight.